Madam in ESPN.com, you had extensive relationship with both Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosch before you guys came together, USA Basketball coming through the draft together. The, the stars of this team, you know, or, or you know, maybe the most notoriety players on this team in Kevin Love and Kyrie, do you have much relationship with them, and how do you plan to establish one? Well, um, obviously, um, myself and D-Wade relationship goes beyond basketball still to this day. Um, you know, so our, our relationship um, will probably be bigger than anyone else's besides Carmelo and Chris Paul, you know, in this league. You know, so, you know, the relationship I had with D-Wade helped the fact that I did, wanted to go to Miami, you know, and I always wanted to play with Chris Bosh, too. Um, you know, so it kind of worked out that way, and when I gained a, a great relationship with, with CB as well. Um, you know, the relationship here is different. You know, we, like you said, myself, D-Wade, and Chris, and we were all in the same draft class. We all went through the same rookie, world, rookie wall, the rookie struggles. Uh, you know, we understood what it was to be part of that draft so you know it's a different challenge for me here you know being alongside uh, you know Kyrie and, 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 and Kevin Love and, and the rest of the guys but um, you know it's nothing that there's nothing in this league that I haven't seen nothing if you name it I've seen it and that's both on and off the floor so I, I got a lot of knowledge to give to those guys LeBron here to your left uh, Jose Ambrosio from ESPN Brazil uh, you've been to Brazil during the World Cup uh, did you expect to meet your ex-teammates in Brazil and what do you expect about Brazil to going there again uh, well yeah I expected to meet him there because the schedule had came out uh, after I <laughs> after I decided to come back. So I already knew that we were going to be playing him in Brazil. I mean, it, it, the NBA knew something. They knew that I would either go home or I'll stay in Miami. So they made the schedule the way it was made anyway. So I would have to play my home team or I was going to go against my old teammates. So they already kind of figured that. So I think it's going to be fun. Um, we go actually get back to, you know, one of my favorite teammates of all time. We go back to Andy's homeland of Brazil. And I know how excited they are, how ecstatic they are about the game of basketball. So, you know, should be fun. LeBron, David Aldridge, Turner Sports. I was wondering how you, your kids are old enough now to kind of understand some things that are going on in the world. I was wondering how you explain this to them, not just um, the decision, but just the whole process. No, I asked them first. Um, I didn't explain it to them. They explained it to me. I was like, um, you know, what do you think about, you know, daddy going back home to play? And it was like, home? You talking about Cleveland? I'm like, yeah. And it was like, Okay, you get to play with Kyrie Irving. I was like, I was like, yeah. They was like, we get to go back home to our to our house, and I get to go back home to my old school and my old friends. And it was like, yeah. It was like, okay, you can do it. And that's how I went. <laughs> Uh, Michael Lee the Washington Post. So LeBron, I want to compare your mindset to four years ago when you left Miami. Did you feel like you had more to prove now than you do now? I mean, then than you do now? Um, I mean, that's a great, a great question. Um, I still have a lot to prove because of the, the expectations I put on myself. Um, it's, I ask more of myself than anybody could ever ask of me. So, uh, yeah, my expectations are still high. And, uh, but I understand I'm more patient now than I were four years ago. I understand what it takes to win a championship. And I understand it's the hardest thing that you could ever do in your basketball career is to try to win a championship. And I've been two up and two down in four years. So I, I went from crying tears of joy and, and tears of frustration, two up, two down. So I know, I know, I know it all. Um, I know what it takes, so I'm a guy that my expectations are still high um, because I believe in this team. I believe what we can, you know, ultimately get to. But I also understand that it won't be, it won't be easy, and we can't, we can't try to play November and get to June or get to May right now. We have to go November to December and the rest of the calendar year just to even have a chance. LeBron, John Tellich, uh, Fox 8, welcome back. Uh, question is, you uh, lost the weight. You, you kind of went into detail with Rachel uh, when she interviewed you about the process. I'm curious as to the motivation. Is it this juncture of your career? Or is it playing in a more up-tempo system? What were the reasons for you? To no, do it, it had nothing to do with basketball. Everyone, I should have wrote a letter about that too. 
So <laughs> to stop the speculations of why I did it. Every summer I challenge myself to do something different that's outside the box. Um, you know, I stopped eating candy last summer, just like no candy for a whole summer. Just try to challenge myself to see if I can do it. So I decided to do this particular diet this, this summer for two months. It had nothing to do with basketball, nothing at all. And um, once I set out a, a goal, I like to accomplish it. And in the process, I lost some weight. And then in the process, the stories came out. I did it to, because of this juncture in my career. I'm 29 years old, and I still can I still can fly above the rim. I don't need to lose weight to do that. Um, not at this point in my career. It's great to see. The great thing I got out of it to see what, how can my body transform. You know, so as of my career, if I if I need to lose some weight or shed some weight, I know exactly where I can get down to. But um, it had nothing to do with basketball. But it did make me quicker. So. It helps our team. Alrighty, that's going to wrap it up with LeBron, and there'll be uh, a break on.